Hi everybody, welcome back to the show, Truth and Facts About Boxing Debate. Now this is where we take a couple topics and we talk about them and we go back and forth. This is our opinion and uh, you know, every now and then we might throw in a little fact here and there, alright? Alright, so here we go. Charlo versus J-Rock. Now, just when you thought that they were dead, done, gone, doors closed, shit locked up, place closed down, motherfuckers unemployment line, checks no longer being cashed, PBC has come back with a good stack card here with uh, Charlo versus J-Rock, which, you know, we thought it was taking a while to happen, but it happened. And the undercard, you got Marez versus Quaya. Yo, my man, Twine from Hoop Jab joining me over here. Yo, man, what's your take on this card and this fight, man? Uh, I'm happy it's finally here, man. Uh, that's what I can really say. Uh, we know we had the, a couple of delays. We knew it was going to happen. We just couldn't get a date win. And, uh, you know, we finally got the win now. Um, Another thing that's exciting is that it marks the return of uh, Richard Schaefer to the promotion game. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Don't, don't, don't get ahead of the game. Okay, okay. That's coming up. Uh, We're going to get into that for uh, sure. But, you know, uh, this does mark his return. I'll leave it at that. But at the same time, uh, yeah, you can't ask for the more exciting card. Uh, to take place December 10th, apparently, since Gennady Golovkin and Daniel Jacobs isn't going to happen this year now. Uh, you know, uh, it's definitely a perfect feeling to fight for that date, especially with the undercard. You got uh, Cuellar against Abner Marez, which should be a pretty exciting fight. Um, so I, I like the card, man. I, I definitely like it. Okay, okay. Um, I like the card. I, I'm, I'm glad it finally got done. I'm with you. It was looking like for quite some time this might not happen. You know, it really was looking like, you know what, man, we might not get this fight. But uh, as it turns out, we got the fight. So good. There it is. I got J-Rock in this fight, man. I got to tell you. And I, I, I went with him last time. I'm still going to go with him, man. J-Rock got that dog in him. Y'all know how I am about that. He, you know, he got that dog in him, man. Hunter Young Captain Philly. I'm going to roll with J-Rock, man. Who you going to roll with in this one, man? Um, you know what? I didn't know we were doing predictions, but um, there's something about J-Rock. He got like an old soul to him, you know, an a old fighter soul to him. And like, I, just, I don't think he could be denied here. Like, I think he's really going to put on a showcase and show what he's all about. You know, he's been waiting for this for some time. Yeah, he has been. He has been. Now, don't get it wrong. Charlo, he going up against ain't no fun. All right? I, I just kind of like J-Rock. But I'm, I'm definitely feeling this card. Um, the shocker is the undercard with the Marez and Cuellar because I think Marez pulled out. That, that fight pulled had happened earlier. And Marez wound up pulling out because um, I think he had some type of injury or something like that. I think the eye injury or something like that. Or he could not be cleared or something. Yeah, yeah. So he had an injury. So it, it was really shocking to see him. But um, what's your take on that Marez Cuellar fight, man? I mean, how do you feel about that? I think it's a good fight, personally. Well, uh, what's your take on it? And it's a title it's, fight. It's definitely a good fight. Um, I think uh, Cuellar has a little bit more on this side right now. Um, so I definitely favor him going into the fight. Uh, Marez is a little a little battle tested to me right now, you know. Uh, he's starting to look at all of this fight in every fight now. You know, every fight he's starting to look battle tested, and yeah, I think Quayar just has more going for him right now. I agree. I definitely think Quayar has more going for him. I like the fact that this is a, a title. These both these fights are title fights. You know what I'm saying? They're double headers that are title fights, and uh, that's good to have. You know, in the sport of boxing. These guys putting up their titles, young guys. So, so we got two undefeated cats, and we got a guy that's on the rise, and a guy that may be on the decline. And in, in Marez, would you agree? Uh, yeah, definitely. I would say that he, he's a little bit on the on the downside. Uh, like I was saying, he's battle tested. 
Uh, usually it, it, it ends a couple of wars. Um, every fight just looks like a struggle for him now. You know, the thing I've seen him in recently. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. All right, so that fight is uh, December, right? Uh, looking like December 10th because of uh, the Gennady Golovkin and Daniel Jacobs situation being go through for the two. So PBC snatched up the, the December, December 10th date and, you know, holding it down for in you know, life. Yeah, you know, it's, it's amazing how the dead reach up from the grave just to let you know they're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two, two title fights, though, too, you know? You yeah, know well, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Not just two title fights. Technically, you got four title fights because, well, five, because they've already announced two more title fights for January. And then we know Keith uh, Keith Thurman and, and, and Danny Garcia are going to be fighting All next right. year. So you got, uh, yeah, because in January, which we'll talk about, we're going to talk about another segment. But uh, in January, you got um, Leo Santa Cruz and Kyle Frampton, who's fighting in Vegas, by the way. And the undercard of that, is Mikey Garcia taking on that dude, De- Dejan, I can't pronounce his name, I ain't gonna butcher it. Yeah, it's a lot of Right, and that's a title fight. So Mikey Garcia, back already, Heyman is putting this boy in a title fight. I mean, that's big, really, when you think about it. Yeah, yeah and then, of course, you got, uh, they, okay, it's, they say it's signed, but... I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. Until I see a poster or some type of uh, uh, venue, you know, it's supposed to be uh, Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman. So, yeah. yeah. But uh, you touched upon that 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 three G Daniel Jacobs. Well, some news just came out that K two Promotions had asked for an extension by the WBA to avoid a purse bid. So it seems like that they that they're gonna try to work some kind of deal out. What's your take on that? Um, I don't know. I, I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I like this route as opposed to a purse bid because we know the 75 25 percent split with the WBA, which I think wouldn't be in uh, Jacob's favor. So, you know, I kind of like that the K2 is trying to, to, to work this thing out, you know, uh, without going to purse bid. That, that's a good gesture on their part. Um, to at least you know make it seem like they're trying to get come together on the on dollars, you know. Right, I I, I totally agree. Um, I like it because the, listen, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that I'm not gonna say 3G probably needs this fight like a desperation type thing, but I think at this phase of his career people are kind of growing tired of the, the, the type of fighters he's fighting. Like, people do want to see him tested a little bit. And and, yeah. and, and and let me get this straight for everybody to understand. We are not saying that nobody is not trying to duck 3G. Yes, they are, okay? We know that. People have, people have ducked 3G. But I understand Jacobs, where he's coming from, whether people like it or not. Uh, no fighter should ever take anything less than what his highest payday was in a big fight so that's why you know and and until i hear like i'm not gonna say it's a duck until i hear the numbers and see the figures when i hear numbers and figures it's like oh he's turning down two million dollars okay yeah okay yeah let's it's a duck if he turns it out to you know or uh or like uh my man 2k say asking for a whole lot of money he know okay 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 it you know it's clearly a duck but right now they're trying to work it out so I'm hoping they get this done. I didn't like Jacobs talking about some interim fight. I'm going to be the first one to say that. I didn't mm-hmm. like that at all, period. That bothered me big time, you know, especially after you did that barking and wolfing. So, you know, hopefully we get this on. And when the fight happens, I'm going to tell everybody right now, I'm, I got 3G to win this fight. I, I just got him to win this fight. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I still see Jacobs with a puncher's chance. That's about it, you know, uh, Triple G definitely should have won the fight. I see a favor in him. Uh, when, you, when you're getting uh, knocked, knocked down by down, Sergio Moore. Yeah, yeah, when you get knocked down by Sergio Moore, you know, that definitely leaves one one to worry, you know, a lot to worry about, you know, when they're against Triple G. Right, 20, 26% uh, 
KO ratio. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. no, that's, so that's going to be crazy right there. Right. But, hey, like um, I said, K2 Promotions, they want to work this thing out. And, uh, you know, props to them for doing that, too. I I, I, I think they deserve mad props for this. Yeah. Um, just, you know, uh, I, I just see the, the money ain't coming together. Like, the way I'm putting together, um, you know, the, the WBA first, first bid won the, won the done, uh, Jacob Kenny favors. Um, and like I said, uh, A2, you can't ask him to take less than his max than, than that he's already, you know, gotten career wise. So, you know, you gotta come with something better, you know. Right. I think this move shows that they do understand the importance of probably trying to make this fight. So, that's good. Yeah. All right. Okay, what we want to talk about now, the return of Richard Schaefer. Now, my man Twan touched upon it earlier, okay, but that card with Charlo, J-Rock, and Abner Mars and Cuellar is, a rich, is going to be promoted by Richard Schaefer, okay? Now, anybody don't know, Richard Schaefer really was the dude that was holding Golden Boy promotion together when Oscar was having his personal issue. All right? So, this is a good move, man. I like it. Already out the gate, this is the kind of fight that Schaefer started now promoting. I think that's a good sign, and a lot of people don't know uh, it was Schaefer who gave a good portion of these fighters to um, Al Heyman for PBC because uh, people don't know, a lot of these guys, Adrian Broner, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, a lot of these dudes, Mir Khan was under Golden Boy. And so, and when Golden Boy and uh, Schaefer split, uh, hey, Schaefer walked away with the fighters in an agreement that he wouldn't uh, promote for X amount of time. But now he's back, man. I think this is good to have Schaefer back, especially if he's going to be with PBC because he, he knows how to run the business of boxing very, very well. You know, what's your take on this? Um, I definitely think it's a good look for PBC um, to add him to uh, the promotion umbrella or the wing of uh, promoters that they have that uh, that do fights with them. Um, Schaefer definitely knows what he's doing business-wise. You know, he's practically running uh, Golden Boy, you know, in the latter years, you know, prior to him uh, leaving and walking and walking. You know, it was him running the show over there, basically. Right. Um, so I de I'm definitely glad to see him back in the game. Um, I think this may give PBC a boost in the marketing area. I do. Uh, something that we haven't seen them really at sell out as much. Um, I think Faker's going to be able to pull some strings extra there for his cars that he's promoting. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing him. Uh, Working some of this, man, and you know, uh, I got a feeling he'll be the guy that ends up uh, working with Mikey Garcia in the long run, too, for some reason. You know what? I, I actually think that would be a good move for Mikey Garcia to go with Richard Schaefer. I really believe, I really think that would be a good move for him. Um, Schaefer has a track record of, uh, you know, doing right and being right with his fighters. And, uh, you know, fighters seem to be kind of loyal to him. Because, like I said, when he left Golden Boy, a lot of those cats went, you know, a lot of them dudes kind of went with him. All right. So, man, this is going to be this. This is going to be good. I think Schaefer coming back, uh, uh, even though you had Lou DeBella, but I think Schaefer really adds a little bit of legitimacy, uh, 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 legitimacy to PB, the PBC brand. You know, mm -hmm. Lou DeBella is... A well known, he's no promoter, but Richard Schaefer really kind of adds that tag yeah. of okay, being legit and maybe even you know, killing some of this noise of them dying and going out of business. Yeah. And I think Schaefer can kill a lot of that noise yeah. about you know what's happening with PBC and what's going on because people, one thing about Schaefer, everybody knows is this guy knows the business of boxing, you can't question that at all, period, you know. Yeah. You know, he's ran a mega company. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's ran a mega dollar company. So, you know, I think that's good. Um, what do you, like, what do you think he should do next after this card? Like, what, what should Schaefer do next? Like, because this is a big card to come out with. So his next card is going to have to match this. 
I mean, uh, you got to look at pretty much the territories. Uh, I imagine Schaefer would handle most of the West Coast duties for PPC stuff. So if it's not Floyd doing it in Vegas, it will be something with Schaefer. Um, I'm guessing the Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman fight they're talking about early next quarter, uh, first quarter of 2017. That would be one that would be good to, to stamp his name to. Uh, yeah. You know, you just hear there's so much in store for PBC in early 2017. Though. So any one of those big parts coming up, you know, even the Garcia's Vlada Kane in the fight, that would be one for him, you know, for him to, uh, to promote. Okay. That, that's, that's good. Um, you know what? You, 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 you have a point. You definitely... You, you have a you, you have a good point there. I think um wow yeah man you got a real good point man. You have a real good point. You you have a real good point. I just think that man, I think Schaefer can get a lot of these fights because listen I, I I'll be honest okay um for the number of fighters that PBC have I understand people saying listen look at the number of fighters that they have they should be doing a lot more in you know making you know big fights okay now here's the problem and it's not Al Heyman's fault and people want to blame him Al Heyman has tried to make some of these guys take some of these fights Danny Garcia turned down what he turned down um who he turned Berto. right he turned down Berto okay which you know, I thought, all right, you know, that was a decent fight. Then he turned down Molina. And at one point, they was even looking at that dude, what, Eggington or what, whatever, what, what's his name? Yeah. Yeah, they was looking at him. Okay. And uh, and then there's an article out about that where it says that a. Heyman was on Danny Garcia about fighting Keith Thurman this year. He was like, he was on him about making that fight this year. So, um, you know, then, of course, the Charlo fights took, you know, took kind of a long time. So, I, you know, I, I kind of get some of it. But at the same time, there were other fights. I think people get wrapped up in some of the big names so hard that they miss some of the other fights that took place that we got to solve. Because that Robert Easton Jr. and that Komei fight was no punk. Yeah. You know, that was no punk, man. That dude, you know. Then you had, uh, 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 what's the dude's name that surprised uh, Robert DeGosa Guerrero? What's his name? Pedraza? Uh, 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 I, mean, I know what you're talking about. Right, you know, so that was another fight. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of feeling this. Uh, I think Schaefer can probably get. Hopefully, with Schaefer, we'll get a lot more of the bigger fights happening next um, year. You know, that was one of his specialties with uh, Golden Boy was the matchmaking side. Right. So, I definitely expect him to sell with, with the matchmaking uh, when it comes to his cards. Me too. Uh, and uh, you know what? I think that, as um, a matter of fact, I know he'll have some success with the matchmaking. I just, because he's he's, he's very good. To, you, you think about some of the fights that Golden Boy had put on with with these guys. I think Schaefer would do a good job with the matchmaking because now he's got the fighters, you know, so hopefully that'll happen, man. So, all right, man, anything else you want to add there, Twan? Oh uh, no, that's pretty much all, man, for that. <laughs> all right, everybody. This is your boy Bo, my man Twine from Old Hoop Jab over there. Uh, you can catch us on the movement every Wednesday, 8:30 my time, which is I'm in the I'm, I'm in the central zone. And uh, uh what's that number there, Twine, and, and, and them digits they can call us on? <sighs> Uh, what, 72, I don't even know by heart, I think it's 724, 724, 444, 744, yeah, uh, our, our call number is 142097, that's right, alright, there's some more big stuff, more big news and things to come, listen, this is boxing, you guys, and it's a lot to get excited for, it's a lot for us to be looking at. So, hey, let's keep our, you know, let's keep our ears down to the pavement, respect the sport. And, hey, 2017 is looking really, really sharp next year. Mm. We may, hopefully we get Carnelo 3G. 
Let's stay on them boys to make this fight, man. All right, everybody. Truth and facts. Juan.